Hi everyone, welcome to exercise one of our course. So once you log into Prequilt, the default is going to be the quilts dashboard, which is perfect. That's exactly where we want to be to start our first quilt. So you want to go, go down to the tile here that says create quilt and click on the button. And what it's going to do is open up um, some options. So the most common is usually the rectangular grid. Um, and you can set the block size there, which is currently 12 by 12. We also have two different on point grids and four different equilateral triangle grids. Um, but because this is our first quilt, we're going to actually just go and work with the rectangular grid. Um, I'm going to keep it at 12 by 12. And when you click on use this grid button, it's going to open up our quilt editor or also what we call the design digital design wall. You can see here that the quilt's on the right and on the left side, we have some collapsible tabs on what I call the left hand or the left side control panel. Um, you can set the block size with the width and the height, um, which is now 12 by 12. The default is 10 columns and 10 rows, which at 12 inch blocks is very large. So you can update um, the size of the quilt or you can change the size of the quilt by changing the number of columns and the number of rows that are on this quilt. You can either uh, type in the number, which I've done here, six, or you can use the up and down arrows to select your number of columns and rows. Once selected, click the update button and you'll see how the quilt grid or the digital design wall is automatically updated to now have a 72 by 96 inch quilt with six columns and eight rows. Now, just say for example, you wanted to have a landscape quilt where you didn't want it to be in portrait mode. That's easy. You can just update the number of columns to eight and the number of rows to six. And you can see here now that the this, this shape of the quilt has been updated to 96 inches wide and 72 inches tall. Um, but I'm going to go back to the portrait mode. Um, and the other option here in the tabs is the quilt settings tab. The default name is always the date that it is created, um, but you can easily update the name. Um, so we're going to call this my first qu quilt. And that just keeps things a little bit more organized and easier to find. And then don't forget to click the save button from the central toolbar. So you can either save the quilt, um, but you can also turn on auto save. So by just toggling that and it will save every two minutes. So that's a good option if you are kind of forgetful of saving or if you're new to prequilt and you don't want to accidentally forget to save. I'm just going to save it one more time. And that is our first quilt and pre-quilt. All right, so now it's time to jump back over to pre-quilt and do our first exercise, which is to create a new quilt using the rectangular grid.